Hello friends, today I am going to show you uh, what are the server level firewall rules we have and what is the limit we have and how the database firewall rule works and how to configure and all those this these two okay before going to this when you are trying to connect uh, to the SQL server either from internet or our Azure but it is going to check the database level firewall rules if there is any firewall rules exist at the database level then it is going to connect at the respective database if there is no uh, uh, database firewall rules then then it comes to uh, server verify rules if the firewall rules exist then it is going to connect the respect respect to databases which are uh, I mean uh, uh, databases what are databases we have in the server if the server rules are also not exist then the connection is going to fail this is the basic fundamental uh, architecture about the firewall now when it comes to server level uh, we can add this server level using the portal but if you want to add database firewall level rules we have to use tsql command only there is no option to configure using portal and one more thing is total we have 128 level server firewall rules are there up to 128 we can add our public ips to the server to access the more than that we can adapt it. and moreover the server rules are exist in master okay uh, one more uh, for coming to database level also we up to for each database we can configure up to 128 only and why we uh, 128 configure uh, 128 server firewall rules are there uh, before going to that let's see my environment uh, I have added my uh, let's do refresh up to now I have add, uh, I mean I have two server firewall rules to, uh, why because uh, I want to show you uh, first of all I need to connect to the SSMS right that's why I have added one server firewall uh, rule is there I later I am going to delete you and show you all the practicals uh, be, uh, here I have two databases here okay and uh, now I want to allow a user to access only this test DB uh, using firewall rules now we we have two DMVC are there one is uh, sys dot sys firewall rules to check the server level firewall rules what are there uh, and if you want to check, go to if you want to check the database rules in the for the database you have to use this DMV okay mm, let's do the both two ah, in server level we have three rules are there one thing is this allow all windows azure ips from starting to 0 to end 0 this is by one of the default rule created by the azure only and we cannot able to see this in azure portal and here the, these two we can see in azure portal okay coming to this uh, in the database level i have already added one client api address here uh, no bro I have added one uh... sorry about the pools are there let me do one thing let me delete one the database firewall rule here data base okay yes now let's check that here I don't have any fire, uh, firewall rule, uh, database level firewall rule okay uh, in my SQL server uh, right now I want to add this firewall in test DB okay now here come to that open new query copy this paste it here 
now I have added one database firewall rule level rule now come to the portal and remove all this and click save now close all this and and remove disconnect and try to connect so here you will get an error why we, uh, I mean we have up to now we didn't added any server firewall rule so to access database rules here you need to type that respective DB okay now try to log in it will connect only to the database open the database see here how we are, how the database level firewall rule works here so this is how you can use the database firewall level rules for example you are the admin right now let's check that is it possible here remove the database here and try to add Yes, here we need to connect the master. Now, up, we now we have added the server level firewall rule. Why? Because I am the sysadmin here. Now, uh, disconnect this and come to here. Click reset all and try to log in. Now, I am able to see all my databases what we have in SQL server Azure SQL server see here so this is how uh, all about our server, Azure SQL server firewall rules and database firewall rules I hope you like this video thank you bye bye